Welcome back, folks. This is lesson 25. We're getting through them, aren't we? Uh, this subject today is totally different from the Sphinx, which we did the other day. This is a place called Haysborough, and this is the lighthouse at Haysborough. I've put some uh, masking tape on there just to protect it against the sky, and I've put uh, masking tape along the horizon there to protect the the foreground from the sky. So that, that's two things I've done. And it's the, the, the usual mixes like Rosie and Oroca with Ultramarine and then Ultramarine and Burnt Umber and then a weak mix of Crimson. I've mixed them already on my palette. So I'm, I'm, I'm ready sort of things. I'm, they're all there already. And the, the sky I've mixed, the, 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 the uh, grey colour is really strong because what I want today is a threatening sky. A real strong sky that, that looks like it's, it's going to pour down with rain. And that will set it off against the, the light, the light foreground, which I'm going to, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss that as we go along. But this is Haysborough Lighthouse, and it's, 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 it's spelled Happysburg. So if it, it's on the east coast of Norfolk, so if you're looking for it, you're looking for the word Happysburg, but it's pronounced Haysborough. Right, let's get cracking. Let's a bit more of the. There's the, there's the colours you've got. I say I'll move the colours, and away we go. So this is our, our, our thing prepared already. This is clean water. Random, not all over. I say it's going to be a, 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 quite a stormy sky, so. Let's uh, let's see how, what, what, what turns out. I'm always excited because I, I never know what I'm going to get. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. You win some, you lose some, don't you? Right, a bit of sunshine to start with. It's not that bad. Mind the tower on that. Down to there, down to this side, try and flick down the side of that thing there. And then some, well, some ultramarine blue. The next colour. I put a bit of blue in this corner here. It looks like it's, we, we're getting some sunshine or some, some a nice day coming it's because the, the heavy cloud is coming from the left here so it depends on your, uh, your optimist if you're optimistic that cloud is going and the sunshine is coming if you're pessimistic the cloud is coming so whatever turns you on Clouds down here. Dig it up. Touch more of that colour. The top here. I said it's going to be a dodgy day, so I'll put some dodgy stuff in in a minute. Now at the bottom of the sky, I want to get a bit of pinky look to it. So I'll put a touch of pinky in that bottom. That'll bring it together, won't it? So come on top of that, that masking tape, see? It'll, it'll, it'll all come into it, but mind the buildings. Top of there. Some pinky around this side as well. The little bushes there, but don't worry about them, we'll, we'll, we'll paint those in afterwards. 
Det måste vi gå och vi måste dyka. I might put some pinks up this side here. Run the shadow side of the cloud. The cloud. The light's coming from the left. Don't forget this time. Looking pretty, pretty that. So I think it's time we 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 put the mockers on it. Let's get it some, give it some welly. Right, this is the the ultramarine of the burn tumba. Oh, look at that! Look at that! That is a big cloud. Roll your brush in it. Let's get your sky going. A bit, bit darker in this corner here. Oh yes. Make it really juicy. So this cloud's coming, or going, whichever you like. Of course it will soften as it goes into the distance, won't it? So I better soften that a bit there. Dark down here. To, yeah, we'll have it down to the horizon. This one. Let's see how we go there. Put it behind the the lighthouse. That's a real storm coming. This it's coming across land. Of course, it'll come from behind that behind there and work its way across. So as I said, spend some time on your sky because it it, it, it is sort of th three quarters of your picture, isn't it? Get that filled in just about there. Keep off the tower. So we'll look and see what we've got. And that's it. I think yeah, the, the, the dark's going here, or it's going like that and flashing across the sky, and it, it makes the the other bit stand out. So I think I'm gonna leave this guy there or I'll start fiddling. I don't like fiddling, you know that. Which which is sometimes a good thing if you've overcooked it. But this, this seems all right. We're okay on this one. Right, let's have a look at what we've got. Uh, I've got some, some bushes and that here. I can take off the... Well, I'll leave that on a bit until I've done these little bushes. So we'll put some bushes in. Let's take it across. Uh, mix, mix a touch of uh, cadmium yellow. I'll bring the palette across if you like and see what I'm doing. This is cadmium yellow there. And put some of that winter blue red shade. That's that's that one there. The ultramarine is that one. So this is the next one to it. And let's see what kind of green we get. That's quite a rich green, but it's it's, it's too bluey. So I'm gonna put some more cadmium yellow into it. That's probably better. But test it first. On your paper. That's it. That'll do fine. Well, here we go. So we've got some bushes and stuff like this here. Of course I've got the tape there so it, it helps me keep my horizon lined. It helps me tremendously that. 
comes in front of that building there and goes across to here. That's that, and it's got some down here. Across this one. So you can do it quickly this because because you as I said we've got that tape there, that does help. And believe me, get all the help you can. That's it. Take it across here. There's a bit of a shed at this side, I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's, a, it's, it's there whether the they put the sandwiches in there, I don't know, but, but that's where it is, some kind of a shed. Right, that's, that's a coat, so I want to put some, some dark into that now. And that stuff we've got in the sky, I'll, I'll pinch a touch of that, that'll be nice for the, the, the light is from the left, isn't it? So let's put some darks in the bottom of this. That's better. Make it three dimensional. The darks are on the right hand side because the light's coming from the left, isn't it? Just a touch more, or I'm start fiddling. And that gives it a, 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 a green hedge. In a while, because I wanted to sort of uh, accentuate this 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 foreground, so it'll make it nice and trendy. Let's, let's have a look now. I think I'll put one two of these buildings in while I'm while I'm messing about around there. Get a bit smaller brush than that. Now the buildings are white, but the roof is pantile, which is we can use that burnt sienna. That'll do us fine on that. Touch your burnt sienna on there. You don't, mean, don't need a lot because there's not, not, a, not a lot of buildings there, is there? So that's this, this roof here. Not a lot, is there? To the edge of the tiles down the back there. And the chimneys. That's it's a long way away, so you're not going to see a lot. Another one just here. Of course, I've left that masking tape on there that uh, it'll help me when, when I'm just going up against it there. So don't knock it. Use use anything you can get to help you. Because at the end of the day, when they view your painting, they'll say, "Boy, that's lovely." They'll not say, "Oh, you've used masking tape on there," because they won't know, will they? Because you won't tell them. A chimney on that, another one here. There's the side of the building there, where I put that end panel in. And there's another one behind here. Bit fiddly, but don't take long. And this one here, this has got a like a 
a sort of a tile top. Don't know what it is, it's a weird thing. Weird looking thing. I'll put a bit down there. And I think I'll this this time we'll have uh, we'll make the sides of it a paler paler tone of that what we just used to the roof. There. That'll do. Right, we're looking okay there. I can put in some one or two bits of dark on this, on these pantels because they're, they're not new. Darken it down a bit. On top of this one here. Not a lot, just a, a suggestion of age. Same with this one here. It's a weird shape, this thing. I don't know what I don't know what to put it in for. Still, it's in. So we, we, we've got it in, so we're stuck with it. Now, this lighthouse is red and white. So we've got to be careful when we're painting this, haven't we? The, uh, the uh, glass part it will be sort of a bluey colour. We'll better put a touch of that in. Just on this section here. Into a stage where uh, I can dry that a bit off and take the take the tape off there and see where we're going. Then we'll then we'll paint the the light out, shall we? Right, we're getting there. At all is uh, the the sea is behind me, and I'm looking inland towards this this big Norfolk sky, and it just takes you takes you off into the distance like that. And this is what I like about Norfolk: the, the sky is gone forever, massive big skies. In fact, my, my 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 website is called Norfolk Skies, so so you, you know what I think about them. They're lovely. Let's see what we've got now. Right, so we, we can. I don't need to do anything. I can take that off there. That top is going to be red, so it's going to be. A, 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 I'll, no, I'll finish doing that little bit first on this. Put some little indications of dark on that on this this fretwork on the on the actual tower there before I take anything off that's these these lines across here the the so they show up Of course, it's some of the other way as well, isn't it? This must be to protect the glass. Anyway, that gives you a rough idea what, what, what we're about. That's okay now. Now we can start looking about painting that top. That top is red. A nice colour that red. I might need a, I might need a rig I think for this because it's it's a bit too so we'll do this top red. I like Fred's jumper. I like I like cadmium red. It's a lovely red. So rich. 
got to be careful on this, it's only a small area, so we've got to be do it neatly. There's a piece sticking up at the top there. slightly over the edge of the there right that bit be all right now now that I can take this tape off here now so that's protected that for everybody lovely pleased about that now the the the, the band below the the light is is also red. Be careful with this one, it's a thin one. Very careful. careful that rigor is handy for this sticks out a bit like that and sticks out a bit like that it's a bit bit more depth to it just there That'll do, that's the, then that's the, the next red bit. And then there's uh, a white bit here, and then another red bit here, red span, a red span, red span. Let's, let's put these red spans in, because the white is the paper, isn't it? So I'll stick a, a band in on this one. That curvature in that one should be a bit better. Another red band further down. Just here. You may almost see a fiddly, but it's a lot, lot less fiddly than the, the Sphinx and the Cathedral. Tidy that bit up there, it's a bit dodgy there. It's there. That's two bands. Let's have another band further down. Bit of tape on that. Look how the white stands out. Now he's put a dark colour against it. And the dark sky behind it, of course. That's the reason I put it there. To get the contrast. Like a barber's pole, isn't it? And there's another one down here. One more to go. Of course, what I've got to do, which I've just realised, is... 
the house, which was covered by the masking tape, so I've got a bit more house to do there. So you win some, you lose some. I'll sort that out in a minute. That goes up against that house, which is there. And that'll do, and then it's white down at the bottom. So we've got this this building down here. Right, let's get that in. Put a put a bit of uh, burnt sienna on this, aren't we? Burnt sienna for the roof. Just a touch. We don't want a lot. I've got to be careful. I don't touch that red either. in there. You're looking okay there. There's a bit more green there that I've, I've missed. I've better put that green in. See, I've just a touch there, just a little touch, which was covered by the masking tape. Just this here. We've got to get it right, haven't we? There, like that. Let's dealt with that. There's some windows in this, this uh, these houses. Well, we get put one or two windows in while we're working on that now. Get one or two windows in, and away we go. I think we shall do. do we've got that. Just a couple of windows in there. We find a window rush. Well, that'll do better. Yeah. a small detail brush I got from the, I'm in the SAA, you know, it's a lovely organisation, I've been in it for years, and uh, they got some lovely stuff. For sale, and a good magazine wants a quarter. So we, 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 it looks more like some, somebody's living there now. I want to darken that chimney breast, that chim, chimney stack there, slightly there, slightly there, slightly there, and down that side there. Right, one or two more windows in this. Oh, we're cracking on here, folks. We are, we're, we're really cooking with gas today. There, one touching, just showing behind that, behind that bush. Just see the put top of it, and then one we can see here. We'll put, we'll put, put, put some of the, put some of this shed here as well. Looks a bit, isn't it? A bit Fred Carnot's this shed, but not to worry. We'll sort it out. So that's that. That's that. That's that. That's that. I want a bit of a dark under that. This top here. Right, I can leave that for a bit now. I'll take that. Uh, I can take that 
masking tape up now, which will see what we protected our, our foreground with. It's going to be a nice horizon line, isn't it? And the reason I've been protecting this is because uh, this time of the year in uh, in Norfolk, and I'm sure it's mostly the same way where you live as well, we get uh, the fields of this oilseed rape. I don't know if you've seen it. It's absolutely vibrant. It is. It's, it's, it's stunning. And when, when the sun's against it or a dark cloud, wow, it re really sings out. It, it makes you makes you want to paint it. You know, I think, wow, that's lovely. So this is what I'm going to put in the foreground, folks. And that this colour is... is is cadmium lemon. It's uh, I better mix this clear spot for it because it's I don't 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 want don't be contaminated by any other, any other colour. So I'm clear a spot on the on the palette here. That's my palette. I'll just clear that clear this pinky stuff off, which gives me a nice clear spot for this lemon. There, tidy it up. So cleanliness is, is excellent in, in, your, in your watercolors. It keeps it going. And that lemon color is, is, is this one here, next to the cadmium le ye yellow. This is the this is the lemon. So we're going to have a mix of this. Mix enough so it's going to cover that that area, won't you? You'll see it'll stand out perfectly. Right, let's give it a try. I don't need to sort of test it because I know what colour it is. I'll start at, the, start at this side and work my way across. Look at that. Look at that colour. Wow. That is oilseed rate, that, folks. Or the undercoat, anyway. Don't be taking your riding line. Enough to get this doing here. Of course, in the foreground here, that you, you you might get some, some tinges of green in it as well. Because as you as you come to towards the door or to the edge of the the field with the, with the rape in it. You, you you see the the stalks and stuff like that, which which are green. It's not all yellow, so we need to just introduce a touch of touch of greeny stuff. I'm just testing it just there, just to sort of give it an indication of of greenery around the foreground here. And what it also does, it, it, it brings it forward. Or otherwise, it would just look like a flat panel of, of, of lemon, which you don't want. We've got to make it sit down, haven't we? Like a field. Flick some stuff onto it. Flick a touch of water in there. there. I might even darken this green even more at the foreground here, just to to bring it really forward. And I'm using that cadmium yellow and a touch of winter blue on it. 
just to give me a touch of darkish greens right in this foreground here. Still wet, but it doesn't matter because it'll blend in nicely. But keep away from up there because that's, that's in the distance. This is purely stuff you can see what, what's in the foreground, the edge of the field. How are we getting there folks? We're getting there. We are getting there. It's just not going to take as long as the others. This one is a quickie. I like that. Clean that brush out a bit, and I might, what I might, and what I might put in is uh, in the foreground. I might put in some. I'll get a chiller brush. Yeah, that do give an indication of of greenery. That's dark enough. Anyway. Let's get me up a bit darker. This sort of stuff. Oh, it's not dry yet. If you come to have a look at this area, by the way, this is this is Haysborough, Haysborough Lighthouse, and also it's the village of Haysborough. There's a beautiful, tall, towered uh, Norman church in there with a lovely tower. It's, it's it stands out for miles. So I mean, if you do take the trouble to to go and have a look, please please have, have a good look, and it's it, you'll you'll enjoy it. I'll tell you. So I'm just uh, that's better because it's. Just a touch of, I'm just flicking these things up to, this is what's holding the, the yellow flowers up, up isn't it? So you've got to see some, some roots somewhere. All in the foreground here. And these little chisel brushes are handy for this, aren't they? Just use the side of it. And just flick it in. It's like just boom, 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 boom. Oil seed rape. I don't know what the, it's, it's, it, I have a little story about this and it, you might find it interesting. Uh, we, we did a, a, an exhibition in the cathedral in, in Norwich, Norwich Cathedral, beautiful, beautiful place, beautiful exhibition. And of course, we, we all, all the, the Norwich Art Society, we, we submitted our paintings and that, but the, the, the bishop at the time uh, just made a stipulation that, that he, nothing, nothing racy. Nothing out, 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 in, the, in the cathedral. He didn't want anything sort of controver controversial. So I thought, oh well, I will. You know, we can't, we can't upset the upset the bishop. And I'd, I'd just what I'd done. I'd, I'd painted a, a, a painting of uh, a place called Corpusti, Corpusti Church. And I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't intending to paint this church, but I was on my way to the coast. And I saw this, and I saw this, this obviously rape in front of the church, and I thought, wow. And I, I just had to stop and paint it. And anyway, I painted this, and, and it, it turned out quite well. So I put this in the exhibition. And I, I called it Rape at Corpusti Church. <laughs> and of course, that was in the, that was in the programme. And of course, the bishop thought, oh dear, what's he done? Of course, when I explained it to him, he said, oh, I see what you're doing. But just all in the mind, folks, all in the mind. I might, I'll, I'll call this one Rape at Hesbert Lighthouse. Because this is Oilseed Rape. And I can't give it its full title, it's just... But, and do you know, it's funny, I'm, I'm telling you this story. Uh, when the exhibition opened, the first painting to sell 
was that painting of rape at Corpusty Church. And it was bought by two a couple from Hamburg, of all places. So, so there's some couple in Hamburg, they were got one of my paintings on the wall with with rape on it. So that that's 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 brought this forward, it's it's the edge of the field. But what might be nice if we put one or two rogue rogue flowers in the front here. Just be a bit twee, you know, but uh, but some people like these. Let's see if we can find a a rogue brush to do it with. Oh, there's one. That, that should do fine. Uh, let's have a look. See if that'll do it. Well, I'm looking for a colour, folks, just to just to darken this down a bit. And let's get it dark. I want it to stand out. See. See what that's like. That'll do. Yes, this sort of stuff. Look. This is flicking to flicking above the above the the normal normal shapes of this. It's a nice little brush. Look at the point on it. One or two in there. I don't want to go right across, so it looks naff. Stick to this corner. That'll do it, it's down in this corner as well, which is which is nice. Now what I want to do is, is down this corner, which will which will Settle down this, this painting at the front there. Just darken it a little bit, like this. That's where the under. Don't forget, we, we, the, we've got the shadows to do here, folks. That, that's the last job. But that'll, that'll darken that down and it brings it, bring it towards you a bit. But when that's when that's dry, what I want to do is is also put a touch of a touch of one or two flowers in there. But poppies, poppies would be nice, wouldn't it? A few poppies in there, and That'll do. Stop fiddling. I'll, I'll dry that now. Then we'll, we'll sort some poppies out, shall we? Just a few. I don't want to go go mad. There's no figures in this one because I love that horizon there, which just goes on forever. You know, the, the, you don't know what where it's going or what it is, but it just it, it depicts Norfolk well. It does because the, the the big skies there they're, they're absolutely smashing. I say I've lived here what nearly forty years. So, so I've got used to it, and it's, it's quite nice. So let's stick a few. It's a bit twee, this folks. So don't don't think of. It's amazing how people like a few poppies. Right, let's put to put the, some black eyes into the the poppies. Just dot a few in like this. They don't look like poppies if you don't put eyes in them. What about one or two cornflowers while we're messing about, eh? Do you like cornflowers? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? 
This is a mutant colour called Cobble Blue. If you have this, it's, it's a nice one or two twin here. That is. That'll do, stop fiddling. Right, the final job is shadows. We've got to put some shadows in. This is important. The shadows makes it look more three dimensional. Let's find a brush which is small enough not to cause trouble. That, that might be alright. So that might, that might want a bit smaller than that. Yes, a little too smaller. So let's have a look what we've got with this one. And of course, the colour I'm using up there is, is, is the colours that I, I use for my shadows. So, so we've got the colour on the palette. Still got some left. So I'll pinch a touch of that. Put a bit more water into it because it's a bit heavy. Let's see what we've got. A little bit more blue in that. Blue down the shadows. That'll do. Right, so the light's coming from where? The left hand side, isn't it? So we need to be putting the darks or the shadows on the right hand side, don't we? So we shall see a shadow on there. Push dark. This is all in sunlight here, and, and you, what do you get? You'll get a, a shadow colour under there, where it's catching the, catching the sun under there, lopping under there. Then this side is in shade, just there. And the roof is in shade as well, and that one. The little titty building here, we'll put shade on this front end here. Now the light here, so I've got to be careful with this because it could, it could bleed and I don't, I don't want it to, I just want to put some, I'll put a touch of water on here first, just down that side. Oh look it's bled, I do do that, be careful, this is what happens. I'll take that out. Exactly what happened where I didn't want it to do. Put a bit of shadow on this side. That's away from the light, you see. But I wanted to just. So I'm trying to protect that red. I don't want to I don't want it to soften that across there like that. So the shadow comes out gradually. It's always tricky when you've got colours like that, it, it it does tend to bleed. But at least it needed doing. I can take a touch more off of that. and lift that colour out. That, it's all right that, it'll do. Right, that, that, that's that, that's that. A touch on that. Touch of dark on that. This roof here. And some under this here. When I get to this stage, I'm, I'm looking for things to do. Do you want a bird in? That looks like that could be a bird, that there. Yeah. That one. Yeah, let's have a bird, shall we? The value for money. And round here, it, it could be a gull, of course. It'd be nice if we did it in, uh, in gouache, that white gouache I've shown you. I can put a white gouache seagull in. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? If I can do it. Let's see what I've got. So one up here. That's 
that's one. Put one of them out here. And then one there, because I don't like two, I like three. Three or one. We'll have one just here with this other dot is. So these are gulls hovering. Let's put some faces on them. There. So go on, probably a bit of dark under that wing there and under that side. Same with this one. down I'm fiddling now uh, this is Hillsborough Lighthouse uh, in, in Norfolk on the east coast there where it's, the coast is crumbling away and this, this lighthouse is getting closer and closer to the cliffs let's hope it'll not, not disappear but uh, anyway I've, I've enjoyed painting this with the oilseed rape in, in front of it and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it uh, if, you, if you've enjoyed it uh, give us a tick or a like or, or whatever you do and I look forward to seeing you next time. But for now, it's goodbye. Bye, folks.